Syracuse. I mean, they scored 64 points in the second half. They won. It felt like they got every 50-50 ball. This Find the open man. That's when they're going to start to develop and really develop a feel for this game at this level. Champagne. His second three of the game already came in shooting just 20. Matthew Hurt, who's a terrific three-point shooter, misses that one. 44% on the season. Xavier Johnson somehow completed the field. Yeah. Who made a terrific feed to the cutting Jalen Johnson for the easy slam. They wouldn't even be in March if, if they yeah. were to meet. DJ Stewart, the freshman from Chicago with a three to tie it. And then guess who is in the right pit both within and beyond their program, Duke just outside of their program. I think in terms of games played and how we value that, in terms of the development of the team, how far along they are, Champagne hits another one. Wow. I think we also have to look at... Champagne for three. What a half. 17 points now. That's good we scramble. are one Tony rebound away from two different Panthers already having a double-double in this game. And Champagne just beat everybody. I mean, that's what used to happen. No. Little pressure here. And Odakali gets it over for Pitt. But Duke has definitely stepped up the intensity at the defensive end. The problem for them is <laughs> because this young Duke team has responded. Nice drive and kick. Nice shot fake. Boy, they're doing everything. Not allowing Pitt to pick out their passes. God, that was a lot of peace, wasn't it? <laughs> Champagne. It comes back in. Duke turns it over. Xavier Johnson, a three-year starter, back to Champagne. Jeez. His fourth three of the game. He's Pitt has not made a field goal in six minutes. Until now. And who else? Champagne, who's now sneaking inside. Reverse, no good. And another rebound for Champagne. And Jalen Johnson, I believe, just fouled out of the game. And that's a shame because they were seeking him out to get the ball in the paint. At one point, he had a mismatch. It might have been Johnson covering John Johnson from Pitt, covering Johnson from Duke. They, they stopped the entire offensive possession to try to get him the ball, but Champagne had switched back up on him. It's just a tough miss, and presence of mind as a young fella, you've got to try to develop that because you are too important to be on the bench. So an incredible night for Jalen Johnson ends a little bit sooner than he would like. Big picture, the great news for Duke is he is clearly back, healthy and playing at a very high level, but they're going to be without him for the last 215 of this one. Yeah, I mean, incredible night, as you can see, for Champagne. Boy, they keep missing free throws. It's not going to matter in the end result, but... Baker misses the three, and that is...